Boys, a Minecraft skin is what every Minecraft player uses to distinguish themselves. Now, some of these are great and some of them are terrible, but either way, you can tell a lot off a person based off what skin they have. So today, I'm gonna rank basically every skin variant or style or cool one that I can think of. And if you do enjoy, make sure you hit the subscribe button. I know everybody asks for it, but I really do try in these videos and I'm uploading so much right now. Either way, enjoy. Let's start on a good note, all right? Tommy in it has a good skin. It's unique, it's trying to be different, and it's not exactly like all the other Minecraft skins, right? This shows something. And you can recognize this even outside of it just being Tommy in it. It doesn't look exactly like all the other skins, right? It, it, it doesn't look totally e-boy, but it also doesn't look way too retro. It's got that perfect mix. It's recognizable, especially in the thumbnails and stuff like that. It stands out. This is an A-tier skin. No bias towards Tommy in it, by the way. This is completely to do with the skin it had no there's no glaze this is completely the skin no bias from him being like top three youtubers of all time not it is straight skin we'll also follow this up with another good skin this is the technoblade skin i'm gonna leave technoblade out of the thing right i, I don't really want to get into any of that but just again objectively this is a good skin because it's unique again it has a lot similar to the tommy in it one but i actually like this one more because it incorporates more minecraft it's a minecraft pig it's a minecraft pig king and it doesn't look too retro. It looks retro, but the perfect amount. So, because of that, I'm gonna put this in S, right? Because of the historical value, right? Because of Technoblade, all that. But also, because it's just good. Everybody likes Technoblade skin. We're getting into the shit. This is kind of a blanket for all of the comedic skins, all the joke, like, derp, skibbity toilet looking skin. They are not good. They are annoying. This is not creative. You took Steve and you gave him a red face. That's not cool, it's not quirky, and it's overdone. This is not the type of person that I'm trying to go against in Bed Wars. It's fucking annoying. And all of them think they're funny, right? All these people with these skins, they think they're so funny. They're really not. It's like the kid in second grade that had a galaxy backpack, pencil case, hands, everything. It's tacky. It's ugly. It's not bottom of the barrel, but it is not good. And for that, it's gonna go in C. Now we have actually a kind of an anomaly of a Minecraft skin, in my opinion. This is Dream Skin. I don't like too basic of a skin. I think that basic skins like that are pretty tacky and I just made fun of this little fucker over here for being too tacky But the dream skin I think is good because not only is it simple it, It's recognizable again take out the YouTube shit if you saw this in a lobby in Bed Wars It would stand out and it's not too egregiously derp and cringe that it looks like this shit It's the it's a really good amount of it and obviously it has to be good because otherwise the dude wouldn't have like a billion channel views or whatever the fuck I don't really like dream that much, but I do like his skin. So it's gonna go right next to Tommy in it. Maybe they can have a little smooch or something. No. No, it's weird. <sighs> this is another blanket skin. This is not good. This is an anime skin. I don't know what anime character it's trying to be, but anime skins are not it. This is Minecraft. You don't need to be playing as your fucking favorite anime character, you nerd. Leave that to the Fortnite developers, bro. They don't look cool. They look tacky. They look like they're trying too hard. Nobody likes to go against an anime skin wearing fuck. Can we all agree on that? This is the type of shit that people would wear in like 2018 during the drought of Minecraft. Like, the type like, 15-year-old edgy fucks on a Toshibo laptop that doesn't even fucking work. Fucking jerking off to hentai. No. No. No part of this is good. This is the first F. This is terrible, and I hate you if you like this. Okay, maybe that was that was a little too far. And another shitty one, we're on a little rampage at this point, is just any skin that's a face of anybody. They're terrible. Call Me Carson was like the first person to do this in SMP Live, and it was cool then, but just like these little fuckers, it's overused. This is, again, another blanket, but any of them, like the Obama one, you could do any person. If you have it to where it's the pixelated shit so it's an actual portrait of them, it's not cool. And if it's yourself, you're a fucking dick sucker, bro. You're a self-glazer. This is also going right next to the anime character. Fuck you if you wear this skin. Okay, calm down, calm down. And honestly, this one that we're going up to next, this is my least favorite breed of skin. This is far and away the biggest sin in Minecraft skins that you can use. But if you're wearing an e-girl skin in Minecraft in 2024, you have no business playing the game. Go play anything else. Go fuck up the Roblox skins, dude. Go fuck up the Fortnite skins. But what if I'm an e-girl? I don't need to see that in your Minecraft skin, bro. 99 times out of 10, it's going to be some random 8-year-old fuck who thinks that the actual Minecraft skin is unironically 
attractive. This is the equivalent of you in fucking sixth grade when you did all your back to school shopping on Sheen. It's time to grow up a little bit, man. This is terrible. This is the worst skin in Minecraft. There's the fucking guy version of it too, which is just as bad, if not worse, because you're admitting at this point that you're a guy, right? You can cosplay as a girl in the video game, all right? All the Fortnite skins I use are the girl ones, but you're taking all the negative of using the e-girl skins, but then you're turning it to a guy, which is just worse. Not to dog on men and, and be that one guy. Guys, if I found the person who created uh, fucking periods, oh, I'd beat their ass. No, I'm not doing that. It's not good. It's so cringe. And I'm not gonna lie to you. I used to be the type of guy that used that type of skin. And then I did a little thing I call growing the fuck up. And I realized it's dumb. This skin. Now, any strand of this skin or this type of skin, <laughs> you know exactly what I'm referring to. I might get some shit for this, but this is also terrible. It's not 2010 anymore, bro. You're not watching Sky Does Minecraft. You're not watching Sunday. Move on. This shit is so tacky, bro. You probably have one of those fucking Pinterest shirts that's like, oh, don't talk to me before I've had my coffee. XX underscore gay gamer underscore XX. Move on. Move out of the basement. You're going in F. There's a lot of skins in F tier. Guys, if you know, you no. This and all of its strands are the best skins in Minecraft. Point blank period. Better than any skin you can make. Better than my skin that I made myself. Better than any YouTuber skin of any generation. The Minecraft mob suit skins from the Xbox 360 and Xbox One versions are the best. Distinguished gentlemen, exactly. This dude can do no harm. This dude's not blowing up in my face and blowing up all this stuff and having it blast into my mouth. It's not gonna happen. Why? Because he's got a suit on, right? Guys, I know that I just dogged on this little fucker down here for being stuck in the past. But the thing about this is it looked good in the past and it looks good now because they have that Minecraft charm. Whoever at Mojang made these to preload onto Minecraft Xbox 360 edition, he was fucking smart. This is an S. One of the best breeds of skins in the game. Prove me wrong. Dan TDM. This is my favorite YouTuber Minecraft skin. I do think it has a little bit of XX underscore gay gamer going on, but it's still unique. It means something to Dan TDM. It's the diamond minecart. He didn't just find this off a website. He made this, or at least modified a pre-existing one, which is more than these little fuckers over here, these little lovebird cunts. My childhood, oh my god, so much to solve. Exactly. Look at the chat, bro. I think that some of the old Minecraft YouTuber skins haven't aged very well. I think a lot of them have this going on, but this one still holds on to it, and not even just for nostalgia, but because of the uniqueness, because of the meaning it has to the creator, and the meaning it has to a lot of people's childhood. This is another S-tier skin. This is the best single skin in Minecraft. I like these. I like the strand of this, right? I like some of these other ones, but this as a singular skin. This isn't a blanket. This is one skin. Jshai is one of the best content creators and he has an amazing skin. Couldn't have said it better myself. What this skin does well, it takes the aspect of older Minecraft, the suit, guys, the suit that I just loved, and it combines it with a newer age. It's got a semi-modern face, similar to this, but not too far on the Tommy in it level of modern, and the retro suit cleaned up, looking better now. It kind of looks like he's got assless chaps going on in the back, but I think that's just this one and it's not his real Minecraft skin, so I won't put that into effect. This combines everything good about a Minecraft skin. It is simple. It's not overused. It's not cringe. It's not showing the worst parts of your life. This is the best single skin in Minecraft, and of course, it's going in S. Now, next on the list, popular MMOs. Kind of not a good skin in my opinion. I can explain why, though. I don't really know what the fuck it is. I think it's supposed to be some royal knight type shit, but it's too complicated. This looks like the type of thing that you would find ran if you looked up on fucking name MC or skin decks or something, you looked up cool Minecraft knight. This would be on like the fifth page of it. I mean, it's iconic because it's popular MMOs as skin, but if you take that out of the equation, I don't really like it. I'm gonna put it in B. I think that's where it belongs. Stampy. Amazing skin. Again, taking his content out of the equation, it's unique, it's recognizable, it's based in in Minecraft, it's an ocelot, but it also has its own charm, right? It's got the it's got the ears, it's got the paws and shit, and it, it's very iconic. I remember watching Stampy. I remember I went to a book fair once and I had a book that he wrote. He did not write; it was like a sticker book or something. I'm gonna put it in A tier. I'm not gonna put it in S. I don't want to glaze him too hard because I mean he did kind of just stop making videos. But the squid fucker, it's okay. I mean uh, he's kind of just Stampy's sidekick. But if you if you judge it by itself, it's okay. It's a little bland in my opinion. I know this isn't the exact one because. 
on the real one, he had like his mouth or whatever, but you get the point, right? You understand this. It's not my favorite, but it's got the Minecraft charm. You can tell I like skins in Minecraft that relate in some way with Minecraft. I'm getting people to tell me to put it right next to Stampy, but I'm not gonna do that because he isn't. I'm gonna put him down here so that, you know, they can, they're close enough to have a conversation, but I don't need them up here transpiring shit, all right? His skin's too shitty to do that to him. Next one. This is a Fortnite fish sticks, but this is a blanket for like other games, Minecraft skins. It depends on the game. If you're putting like a fucking Among Us character or a Genshin Impact or any of that shit, just go ahead and do yourself a favor and boot your internet off the fucking mainframe. A Fortnite skin is pretty cringe to do. Not my favorite, not good, but if it's something like Nintendo or something like Mario, something similar to Minecraft in some ways, it's not that bad. This is very situational, right? Situational blanket term. Overall, I think I'm gonna put it in B because it's kind of middle of the road. Some of them can be cool and some of them can be cringe. Next one is my skin. I made this about two and a half years ago. It, it, it was in the middle of COVID. I think it was in like 2021 and I just sat there. Okay, so we're being hurtful today. I'm not gonna lie. In retrospect, it's got too much of this going on. Too much of these horny fucks going. It's okay. I like the gradient type of thing I went for here, but the Adidas pants are not it. And the face, it's too reminiscent of the E people. I feel like I would be self-glazing to put this shit in fucking S or A, right? If I put these motherfuckers down here, I feel like I just have to be completely honest. In retrospect, if I would ever make a Minecraft skin again, it wouldn't look the same, so I'm gonna put it in C.